When I was elected leader of the Labour Party, I said I would always act in the national interest. That's why, as the nation continues to fight against this dreadful virus, my priority will always be the same as yours, to save lives and protect our NHS. Sadly, despite all the sacrifices and heroism of the British people, it's clear that we are not through this yet. The picture presented by the government's medical advisers this week was stark and it was clear. Infections are rising. Hospital admissions are increasing. And we know from bitter experience where that can lead. That's why the government had to introduce further restrictions last night. We support this, and I urge everyone to follow the new guidance and the rule of law. While these restrictions are now necessary, they were not inevitable. The return of this virus and the return of restrictions are not an act of God. They're a failure of government. The British people have done everything asked of them, but I'm afraid the government has not. A national scandal that we still don't have a testing system that works or a plan to protect our care homes. It shouldn't be like this. The government needs to fix testing fast because that's the only way we can get control of the virus and prevent further restrictions. There was nothing in the Prime Minister's statement last night to protect people's jobs, businesses, or our town centres and high streets. No clarity about what happens when the furlough scheme ends. That's a huge gap and a huge mistake. And it could lead to a wave of job losses this winter.